This joining us now is Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, who serves on the Intelligence Committee and is the ranking member of the House Select Committee on China. It's good to see you again, Congressman. We saw each other at the Reagan Library just a week and a half or so ago when you were there with President Tsai from Taiwan. So here we have Russia's crackdown. The U.S. government calling for the immediate release, but to what effect, what more can the U.S. do? Well, I think the U.S. is doing everything that they can, and I'm, I'm so glad that Ambassador Tracy had a chance to meet with uh, Mr. Gershkovich um, and those pictures that you show uh, of him and his childhood, his parents, are very moving, um, and also remind us uh, uh, ultimately that we are not going to do to the Russians what Vladimir Putin is obviously doing to us, which is he's kidnapping Americans to use as bargaining chips in whatever negotiations that he's going to do. Um, we would never uh, do the same with Russian origin people, nor would we uh, ever prevent Americans from covering the news. Um, those are American values. So uh, I think we're going to keep pushing for his release, but we're going to obviously continue to observe our values and do everything we can to uh, be who we are. And also, Paul Whelan, uh, one of the you know, obvious problems is that his appeal was denied immediately. Once you're charged with espionage, which is a completely false charge, and then he doesn't have another hearing, a pretrial hearing, until maybe the May 29th, the end of May. A trial is way down the road. They just say that they won't release him until the trial is over, which is probably more than a year from now. That's right. It's going to be some kind of kangaroo proceeding, Andrea. Uh, we know how these things go down in, in Putin's Russia. Um, but, you know, we should continue to put pressure on the regime and our friends and others who, uh, you know, believe in journalism should do the same. And one thing the Russians should know, which is that, you know, in jailing a journalist, uh, they're also going to attract extra media attention on this. And hopefully that will also increase pressure on them from various angles uh, until he, he's released. Now, on Monday, a Moscow court also sentenced Russian uh, Putin critic and Washington Post contributor Vladimir Karamusa to 25 years in prison over his criticism of the war in Ukraine. He actually, his criticism was that he said that the war is a war. So, I mean, what is the hope for him? He, with Navalny, his supporters and friends say, maybe being slowly poisoned in jail and quite ill. An ambulance was there just the other day. Um, these are the two leading opponents to Vladimir Putin. That's right. Again, um, you know, when people ask here, why are we uh, helping the people of Ukraine in their fight against Russia? Uh, ultimately, it's about um, they're fighting a war so that we don't have to, and they're defending democracy, human rights, and the values that we hold sacred. One of them is to uh, be able to freely criticize your government and to be able to uh, speak your mind. Uh, those are fast disappearing in Russia, where speaking your mind or any number of things, including journalism, is now a crime. And so we can't tolerate that. Congressman Raja Krishna, Krishna Murthy, thank you very much for being with us today. Appreciate it. Thank you, Andrea.